Brian Stemmel has always been in constant pursuit of his dreams, often racing against time, trying to catch them at the bottom of a mountain. But that's because Stemmel was a longtime member of the Canadian Alpine Ski Team, something the Aurora native long aspired to be, especially after watching his older sister Karen attain the feat. My sister and I, who is two years older than I am, just started skiing and loving it. And my sister followed her dream and I kind of chased her along trying to be like her the whole way. Her name's Karen and she was in the 1984 Olympics in Sarajevo. And that really gave me um, inspiration because I knew somebody who grew up in my home who sat beside me eating the same food, skiing on the same hills, could do something fabulous. And um, I want to do that too. I want to, I want to be a crazy Canuck. The Crazy Canucks were a group of Canadian alpine ski racers that helped define downhill skiing in the 1970s and early 80s. They earned a reputation for their fast and reckless skiing, a method that helped them conquer Kitzbühel four years in a row, a race that is considered the Super Bowl of ski racing. But when it was his turn at Kitzbühel in 1989, Stemmel had no doubt that he was going to follow in their footsteps. No, I thought I was going to win. I'd been Good the day before in the race, made one mistake in the same section and knew if I cleaned that up that uh, I'd have a good chance of winning like, like my idols did. I honestly thought when I was, when I was going along the Stahlhang in the right-handed turn that I was going to make it. And I, even the, that last moment where I still see myself catching my ski up in the net, I still think I'm going to make it. But the, the hill right before the net just dropped away probably about as high as as this stage is to the floor. Not very much, but enough to make a difference. And not, didn't allow me to keep my ski in the ground and, and finish my turn. Unfortunately, his leg caught the fence and ripped it backwards, breaking his pelvis. Stemmel's condition was bleak. He was given a 50-50 chance of living and was in a chemical coma for five days. Out of fear, he'd wake up in agonizing pain and rip his stitch work. Luckily, Stemmel eventually recovered and begun pursuing his latest challenge and eventual return to the mountain that nearly took his life. I didn't want to be defeated by the mountain in Kitzbühel, and so I went back there after I fell, and I think it was the hardest thing that I'll ever have to do is put my poles over the starting gate and go down that course on a hill that almost killed me. And that was a death-defying experience. I made it, I was 14th. But yeah, I think, maybe not overcoming, but just having a sense of conquering something was a, a big thing for me. Eventually though, the satisfaction of vanquishing Kitzbühel wasn't enough. Stemmel wanted something bigger. He wanted the ultimate prize of capturing an Olympic gold medal. The idea consumed him in anticipation of the 1998 Winter Games in Nagano, Japan. Everywhere he went, he carried in his pocket a picture of the 98 gold medal to serve as a reminder of his dream. I had uh, the downhill course on my ceiling of my bedroom. So when I'd wake up in the morning, I'd look at it, I'd go over it in my head. I wanted to go to sleep at night. It was the last thing I thought about, and I dreamed about it all night, skiing a perfect run. So I got to Nagano. I was good in a few training runs at the beginning. I got in the race, and um, there was a Frenchman winning at the time, Jean-Luc Crechet, and uh, I was gunning for him. So I pushed out of the start, the first interval, I was eight hundredths of a second ahead. The second interval, I was 37 hundredths of a second ahead, which in ski racing is like, being two goals up in hockey. And uh, I came around the second last turn, dialed in to win the gold medal, which would have been my ultimate dream, and I hooked an edge and missed a gate. That would turn out to be Stemmel's final chance at Olympic gold. And although he never attained the feat, nor conquered Kitzbühel like the crazy Canucks, Stemmel achieved his dream. Just not the one he often grew up chasing. Today, Brian Stemmel is a broadcaster for Sportsnet. He has been covering skiing for 15 years, and he couldn't be happier. You find what you love, go and do it. It won't seem like a job. You'll be awesome at it, and uh, I'm living proof.